Okay, you ready for the finale or you want to do it tomorrow? What's the finale? Okay. Is it graphing? Yeah. I knew it. What's who? Go figure. Yeah. Scatter. Yeah. Print. Yeah. Done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this, this, I Go mean, that's, figure. that's a good idea. So this is what we want to do. We want to have a figure, right? So go figure. Go figure. Yes. Oh, but I forgot to do what? This is going to break. Why? What's go point to? Go is not defined. Why? Because I never defined it. I need to say, oh, first let's get the plot. Ooh, I right. got import. Plotly. Dot graphic. Almost. Graphic. And look. Graph. Graph. Objects as go. Yeah, very nice. Go. Whew, I know that one. All right, so now Not we like. create this little canvas then. Go and figure. if what I want to do is I want to have like countries, the yes. names of countries, yes. and their corresponding populations. Oh boy. Actually, do we'll do uh, U.S. cities. Okay. Like. Yeah, U.S. cities. Okay, so let's imagine. So we're going to, let's just create some fake data for now. So we'll say my first city is New York, and a list of city is, uh, you know, Los Angeles. And I always spell this wrong. Los Angeles, I think. Why don't you just call it L.A.? Yeah, and then Chicago. All right. Okay, cities. And now we'll do the populations. And this should be uh, what type of data? Like, like a string or an integer? Uh, it's an integer. Okay, so I don't need quotation marks. So this is 8 million. So i just do 8. And then I'll do Los Angeles has like 5, I guess. And Chicago has maybe 3. Okay? Okay. And now what we'll do is if I want to display, you know, this, these lines, you right? Scatter. Exactly. I need to do go.scatter. And I need to place in here the cities x equals my list of cities uh -huh. and y equals my list of populations yes and now i need to stick this scatter inside this figure right so the way to do that is to store my scatter as a variable and then place it in to this figure you don't have to write x equals y equals okay. in there right here you already did it up there mm -hmm. okay so this scatter equals you put it in go figure because you already defined scatter. Exactly. I assigned it to this yes. variable, and I want to put it in this graph. Right. Let's take a look. I hope it works. All right. So this this works, right? New York is eight. Los Angeles is five. Chicago is three. Yes. Okay. So now what I want to do though is I want real data. I don't want to just like do this thing. I want to get my data from the internet and plot oh, it. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we're in luck. There's a little website called Wikipedia. Top U.S. cities, largest U.S. cities. Yeah, you were pretty close. Mm-hmm. Now, you see this web page. Pandas is able to read it because it can read every table. This is a table. This right. is a table. Right, right, right. And this is the table we really want. Right. On the page. Right. Okay, so just like we did read JSON, this time we're now going to do read HTML. So this is, you know, what my uh, we'll call this my URL. Like this is uh, right, you know, the, the look, top where bar. we're going. Mm -hmm. Cool. And now I'm going to import pandas because we need to use pandas as PD. Right. And we want to this time PD not read JSON because it's not data. We want to read HTML. Where did you get HTML from? It comes from the Pandas library. Oh, okay. Right? All right. So we'll see. It's saying, now it says, I'm missing a required positional argument. This just means a file. IO means the file. All so right. the file is actually this web page. Okay. And remember, what this does is it reads every table on the page. Yes. So I'm going to assign this to a variable called tables. Okay. Now we're going to take a look. Let's, so tables is a list, actually. So if I want to see the first table on the page, how do I select the first element? Zero. Bracket zero. Let's take a look at the first table. And nothing. This is a table, but it's not very useful. 
Let's go to the next one. What? Okay. So this is another table, but it doesn't actually have the cities there. We want to get to this table. All right. Wow. So we're going to keep going. Oh, really? Yeah. So let's see. Hey, don't give up. Taylor, this one's not good. Let's see. That one's not good. Yeah. This is getting discouraging. Bingo. 312 cities. Starting with New York. Okay. 2019 estimate. So the pop. So looking at this, right? Here's the name of the city, mm -hmm. and then here's 2019 estimate. Mm -hmm. Now this is. I'm going to call this my like cities table. And do you remember this is our pandas data frame? Do you remember how to convert this to a list of dictionaries? Dot two dict records. You just, this is just more you have to memorize. More members. Okay. So we're gonna yeah, call. You, I never saw that. Yeah. So we're gonna call this. If this is my uh, data frame, then this is my list of cities. So cities equals my cities table dot two dict records. Okay, we're gonna take a look. look what this is another list of dictionaries yes. where each dictionary Squiggly. exactly each dictionary if I select the first three you see that each dictionary represents a different city so this one is New York right and as a key if I want to get the population I can look at the 2019 estimate 